This video is how to cook pancakes in stainless steel. We are attempting to eliminate Teflon 100% from all of our friends' lives as well. In doing so, you may encounter some difficulties. We have here is a big pan on medium. Oh, turn it back up just a hair. Just under the medium mark is where you want to be for eggs, pancakes, grilled cheese, a bunch of other stuff. We'll come back out, and you can notice the oil in the pan. It all may seem really simple, but when you start cooking on stainless for your first time, it may change. It's hard to see in here, but there's a little running around the outside. Once you can start to smell the oil in the air, you know you're ready. Once it's hot enough that you can kind of smell it. And it's running around easily. No hesitation from being cool. Pancake batter here. Just came up with a turn test. It's throwing the batter just a little bit, but it's picking up the batter. Not too thin to where it just stays down there, and not too thick to where it just stays attached. It throws it just a few centimeters there. And the pick up and run test, you want it to essentially clean itself, but have a good steady run. Now we're about ready. I like big pancakes. When you're working with round pans, you just gotta fill the pan. That's a good start there, hearing that sizzle. So just get a good pour. Don't let it touch the edges, it'll need some room for flipping. Now there's an excess of oil here. That's going to make for an amazing texture on your pancakes. And if you've never had them like this, you'll never have them another way for the rest of your life. So now we're going to wait, and it's going to bubble up, golden brown on the bottom. We'll have an easy flip. That was almost a full cup. Probably a half or three fourths, I don't know, somewhere in there. Now, the best and only good spatula I've found is this, I believe, Oneida. Flat fronted, slightly curved on the edges. The flat front is very important. This thing is ultimately useful with stainless steel. I plan on having more. So we're getting bubbles around the edges. You can kind of get a good issue on the time from when we lay down to when we do the first flip. As you're going, you'll notice that this starts to thicken up. So you'll eventually want to add a little more rice milk, almond milk, or uh, water to it. Or hormone-free cow's milk, that is. We have Chateau here. Comes in nice glass jugs. I can smell the cake coming up. So back here on a second burner we've got a smaller one. This is perfect size for baby boy. Little Eight little drips. That wasn't full squirts. That's a pretty full oil bottle. When they are so full they don't drip out as well. So we've got legs just like on a wine. Let those legs move around. You want the full coverage on the bottom. A little running around the sides.
Ah, uh, it's a good sound. Now you know you have way too much oil if it cooks the top of it. Coming back over here, I think we're about ready to flip. I'm not getting bubbles on the top. It's a pretty thick pancake, so we could probably add some more water to her. That's looking done on the bottom. And we've been having issues all day with this. Baby. way around, making sure you're staying in contact with the stainless. So now what I want to do is lay down oil on the edge, let it run down on whatever angle. We have a slight angle on our stove going this way, so I get a good nice run. And you can rotate. First contact will be in the good spot. Uh oh. Wham! Shazam! So ideally you'll have two and two. If you have two big burners or one and three going, we need to add to our stainless steel. I'd like to see a big stainless steel square that's got a thick base that evenly distributes heat. Set it on two, huge rectangle. So Faberware, if you're listening to me, some kind of a copper conduction to get it out to the outsides find a way to get a nice evenly heated stainless steel board. <clears throat> yeah, these are pretty thick right here. Start at the edges. Let the spatula do the work. Voila! One perfectly golden flapjack, cooked on stainless steel, no Teflon, no fluorine, no scraping, no rust underneath. Healthy, edible by babies. Thank you. There will be more coming for uh, cooking eggs, both scrambled and over easy. So please look for more from Green Sheep of the Family. This is Clint and Aaron on camera. Uh uh. Uh uh. Uh uh. What? You're not gonna be on camera. <laughs> Green Sheep out.